Tom a few days into life with the Chiefs, how is it? Yeah, it's good. It's been very well. Everyone's been very welcoming. Uh, we've been working hard, but um, it's good. It's good to, good to settle down in Exeter. Pre-seasons pre are necessary evil. You uh, you know what's coming, pain and yeah. torture and. Yeah, that's it pretty much. You hit nail on the head. Like you know what's coming, and you just got to deal with it, dig in, and try try and get through it. But um, yeah, as I said, we're working hard, and it's. Um, it's all going well so far. I know when we spoke in the summer you were excited by the challenge, you're here now, yeah. you're coming to the champions. Yeah, <laughs> um, Yeah. obviously coming to the champions, so there's the high standards, you've got, got to keep the high standards and I can tell, to be fair, coming into this setup, everything's very professional, like, very professional, everything's precise and it's, um, it's, it's good. What attracted you to the Chiefs? Um, I think the humility of the club is quite... There's not, not necessarily a team listed with superstars, and I, li I like that about it. It's, uh, um, everyone, everyone works hard, um, and I think it's just a, a good sort of pack mentality uh, in the sense that everyone works for each other. It's not necessarily very flashy, but it's just good old graft. But obviously now the, the build-up to the season, and yeah. exciting times for you as players, I'd imagine. Yeah, definitely. There's obviously big opportunities for everyone, uh, everyone involved. Um, coming into well, only a few weeks into pre-season now, but then we've got pre-season games, so it'll be a chance for boys to put their hand up and um, hopefully get a good, some good momentum going into the start of the season. Mix of everything. Yesterday down in the beach in the wet yeah. and the cold. Today out in the uh, cathedral doing a kit launch. It's uh, been a whirlwind start, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, the, the beach was a uh, character building. Um, yeah, d very different, contrasting two days. Yesterday was in the wet and wind, freezing. Working hard, and now I'm just stood outside Exeter Cathedral in a new kit. So yeah, it's uh, pretty different, but it's good. Talking new kit, the black is black. Yeah. It's, uh, pink. Pink. Yeah. It's it, different. It is different. It's uh, flamboyant, <laughs> but it's uh, it's good. I think I, I quite quite enjoy it. Um, so yeah, we just we just wear, wear what you're given, I suppose, and <laughs> and, and play. And what's it like getting out and meeting the fans early doors and that? Isn't it? Yeah, that was really nice. Everyone seems welcoming and. It seems like there's a real uh, passion for, for the club and, well, obviously we're in Exeter, but like, uh, in this part of the country, it seems like there's a real passion for rugby and for the, for the club, so it's good. And you know the fixtures now, the first few weeks, some tough, tough tests in there with the likes of Gloucester, London Irish, Wasps, yeah. Worcester, first few games. Yeah, um, yeah. I think well, obviously beginning of the season, everyone's always pumped and ready to go, so it's, yeah, no doubt there's going to be some physical encounters and some hard, uh, hard matches in the first few games of the season. But, We'll just take it as it comes, I suppose. And it'd be your first taste of the Viva Premiership. What, yeah. are, you, what are you expecting? Oh, I'm just expecting it to be top level of rugby. I'm going to try and obviously enjoy myself if I get get, get the opportunity to play. Um, so yeah, I'm just just ready to take the opportunity with both hands.